Ladies and gentlemen, I got some very exciting news about Engine Coin, and I'll tell you what I'm going to do in this video. I'm going to tell you what's happening with Engine Coin, what I saw on the charts before. If you want to go back and look at my videos from a couple weeks ago, I called this breakout 100%. I called it to a T, and exactly what I said was going to play out played out. But you can look at it for yourself. Before we do that, you're going to hit that like and subscribe button. And in a second, I'm going to move my face and we're going to look at these charts and show you what I think is going on and what just happened and where we go from here. So as you know, if you watch any of my videos, I'm an engine bull. Um, I think it's just great technology for the metaverse and the gaming tokens that need to happen, as well as NFTs. It's very important in building these things. So we're going to need this. And the metaverse is blowing up. And what you have to do when you look at metaverse tokens and metaverse coins, is this needed? That's what you got to say. Is this just a fad? Is this just a game that's going to last a few months? Is this just hype? Or is this something that's going to be a thing in a few years? And the thing is, there's going to be a few metaverses and one or two are going to rise to the top. So yes, I do own a little bit of Decentraland, but we don't know that that's going to be the winner. That could be a thing of the past in two, three years. But Engine Coin, I don't think is going anywhere. So I had a few breakouts. This one, I, I removed the line to clean it up, but this was a, the first kind of obvious breakout. Um, but then this was the more like really obvious. It was real obvious to see what happened here. And then it just flew up. And this just kind of happened again. So what I think is going to happen right here. Um, we can see that, boom, blow off top one, comes down. And this is a little fake one. And then it created this bullish wedge pattern. And right when it was here, you knew. So the best thing to do right then, I'll go back so you could like see it really, is if you were smart, saw it break out and wait for that pullback. And then right when this came, Right when, right when this broke above here, you knew that was like the moment you really, really knew that this was going to really break out. So that's when I bought more right there. And then you should have been selling probably here. I know it went a little higher since then, but when you see that, that's when you should sell. So if you wrote it to here, which I admittedly did, I, I, I sold some of it here, but I sold a good portion here. And then I bought a little bit more here. You got to look at these obvious trends that are going on here. And what's happening here is we see this same pattern. It's such an obvious, like you'd have to, you'd have to be blind to not notice this. This happened here, then that happened. This happened here. Well, anyone with common sense knows, I think the next move is here. It might take a while. Like, is it going to happen in a month? Almost definitely not. But um. It could even take till the end of the year, probably. But that's probably where it's going to end up. And it could mess around a little. I'll show you what I did. When I saw this break up, right, break out right here, I just sold a little bit here because I'm thinking that we can probably, if it followed the last pattern, we could probably get a little bit more here again. So I'm going to be buying more here. Um, you know, because the thing is, you want to cons a good trader is going to get these 20% here and 20% there. Because you could have been, you could have bought here, sold here, or you could have bought here, sold here, bought here, sold here, bought here, sold here. See what I'm saying? Um, it's not always better to just hold, but I still own a little bit. I just, my logic here was I sold a little bit of Solana too, and I sold a little bit of Bitcoin and as well as CRI, CRO coin, that's crypto.com, because they blew up so much in a few days. I think there's just going to be a little bit of a pullback. And then I'm going to use that profit because I spent all my money here when everything was here. You know, maybe we can look at the Bitcoin chart. I was buying things here. And then when it broke out, it's like, okay, is it just going to shoot up? Probably not. It's probably going to come back a little because I want to have a little bit of money on the sidelines for when it comes back down to here. I don't want it to come back down to here and have no money because it's all invested. And I missed this 20% move. So. You know, with Bitcoin, it's only 10%. But with the altcoins, that little move is worth 20% easily, 25% on things like CRO and Engine, which is what we were just looking at. So 
I just like want to reiterate this because every once in a while I get a hater on my channel in the comments. Some guy the other day, oh, you don't add any value. Like I literally told you to buy here. I told you, you could go back and see the videos. I've been right on engine coin multiple times and I'm pretty positive that as long as Bitcoin stays hot, this is going in this range. It's not investment advice, but that's what I'm doing. I'm just letting you know that I'm hoping it pulls back to here and I'm going to load up more right around here, right around in this range is where I'm going to be loading up more. And it might even go to this trend line. Like that's what happened here. It keeps hitting this trend line. It might end up at 165. But if it does, don't say, oh, I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong if a year goes by and it didn't go to at least here. Then I'll admit that I'm wrong. If it didn't go here in a year, I'm I'm so... The only thing that's going to prevent this from going here is a, a bear market in crypto. If a bear market happens, all bets are off. But if it stays bullish like it's going to, it's so obviously going here, it's not even funny. Will it go here again? That's a little bit maybe, I still think so. But going here is like, it's pretty much going to happen because the worst thing that happened, in my opinion, is it would hit these levels of resistance right here, either here, or here, and then go back down to here. So that's all I got to say for now. Make sure you keep your eyes on the prize and keep looking at engine. Peace out.